Pat Austin spent his retirement combing the world for yet more firefighting and classic car memorabilia to add to his astounding collection. We met him in his home where he lives with wife Linda and 13 vehicles, as well as a separate facility for 18 more classic cars and three fire trucks. How much does, would it cost for me to take one of these out for the weekend? What do you think? <laughs> There is no such thing as someone else driving my Really? Vehicles. I can't do it? No. No. Okay. There's not enough money in the world for me to let you Only if back. I married into the family. Uh, even, the, even, even then? Even then. The longtime car collector began adding firefighting memorabilia once he joined the Redondo Beach Fire Department. That's, that's really one of the car things that I collect that's distinctive. You don't see them. You don't see these anymore, hardly at all. Yes. <laughs> oh boy, that's strong. The former chief retired in 2003. Policemen do a tremendous job, but they don't get the respect that they deserve. Firemen, people love firemen. When they call you, what do you do? I've never gone to a place as a fireman and arrested somebody. I've never gone to a place and made somebody's day bad. Every time we went there, we made their day better. Okay, so we're gonna go put out a fire? We're gonna go put out a fire, yes. And how, so, how soon do we have to be there? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, like I said, it depends on the roads back then. It, it took you a while. Today, it would be a lot faster because it'll do 45, 50 miles an hour easy. Beyond the occasional car show, Pat doesn't generally take these cars out on the road because of the gawkers. He said they'd be staring instead of paying attention to the road, and they'd crash right into them. And of course, people say to you all the time, what's your collection worth? And I tell them it, it really doesn't matter <laughs> because they're all paid for. <laughs> <laughs> How does your collection compare? I mean, are there other people like you? Do you know other folks? Oh, I know a lot of guys. 37 yeah. cars and 37 Well, no, I don't, I don't know people with 33 cars, uh, that many. I do know a couple, a few, you know, but uh, they, they're not into fire stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, they're intrigued by, what I, by this just because of the way it operates and what it does. That's the thing, is most people have never seen one like this. Did what you? do you do when you're not doing this? What, uh, what, is there ever any time, I mean, do you have favorite TV shows you guys like to watch? Oh yeah, well, there's a few things, I, you know. You do but barbecues? I'm, I mean, but what? I'm not, I like, I, I watch the car shows on TV. I'm not really into, yeah. you know, I, I, I'm not into any. Is there anything you do that's not car or fire truck or fire engine related? Oh yeah, my, my wife and I do charity stuff that has nothing to do with it. You play crossword puzzles? I do not play crossword puzzles. you play bridge, puzzles. mahjong? I, I don't play cards. My wife loves playing cards. She, like, uh, she, she has friends she plays cards with, but no, I don't do any of that. I'm sure the other thing they say is, Pat, you're crazy. Well, <laughs> right? insanity is measured in a whole lot of different ways. And being crazy is not wrong. When does the collecting stop? You're 72. At what point do you say, I have enough? Well, somebody else is going to make that decision because I'll be dead. All right, I want, to, I want you to put the ladder on the building next door. We're going to protect that roof, but bring the line in through the front door.